Alright, so we're going to cover the timing or uh, cheat for Castle. Right, so in here we've got our motor and motor types, and as standard it comes with SmartSense. Uh, if we click these little blue question marks, it actually describes what these settings are about. So SmartSense is using the sensor cable to start and then using, uh, basically not using it after that. Um, so you can only get a fixed timing on this. Uh, so sensor only is when it's going to run the sensor cable throughout the whole use of the motor. Um, generally for speed runs or, or things like that, you just want to use a smart sense for more fine tuning in a drag racing application, then you can use the sensor only. So in smart sense, I've only got one fixed timing. So I can only use 20 degrees the whole time. Uh, if I go to Censored, I can enable now Cheat. Now, Cheat works between a start and an end RPM. So I'm going to apply 30 degrees of timing. And then I've, you know, I've got a few ranges I can choose from. I normally go into Custom. So I'm going to use 64 start at 64. 100 RPM and I have an option to end it at 44,500 so I can't pick exact where I want it to end I have to select from this range that's it so I'm going to get 30 degrees of timing starting at 64 and ending at 44,400 44, what that will look like if we were to have a look on a graph would be something like that so this is your RPM, this is the timing, at 0 RPM up to 6400 RPM, I'm going to get no timing. And the timing is going to progressively add the 30 degrees until I reach the end RPM. So as, as I go through the run, it's going to gradually add timing, and once it's all added, it's going to stay at the peak timing right through to the end. Right. So now if I go back and let's say I'm going to go 45 degrees, um, go to custom and then I'll pick 30,000 RPM. Now I've only got these two options to choose when I want it to end. So I'm going to pick 40,000 RPM. So this is going to add a lot of timing within a small range of RPM. And what will that look like? something like this. So it's going to do nothing, so it's going to stay, stay on zero at a timing all the way to 30,000 RPM and then it's going to, within 10,000 RPM, shoot all the way up to 45 degrees. So this is basically going to be a, a huge hit on the motor in terms of added power. Uh, and again it'll, it'll do nothing, come on and then stay at 45 degrees for the rest of the RPM range. Um, and that's pretty much what you've got. You've got custom timing, so I can pick a particular degree I want to work with. And I kind of I'm unlimited per hundred RPM in terms of what I can begin at. And, but I am limited when it can be fully engaged by. So I like for my 60, the, the 1412, 6400 KV motor, I like to be around this kind of mark. So it's progressively adding. Um, and it's I've got a good couple of thousand RPM when it's fully engaged. Um, and so depending on the gearing as well, if I go to more like a 8.1 final drive, I'm going to get more RPM, so I kind of just lift it up a little bit so it's a little bit softer, you know, kind of around the start, and it spaces it out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's it on, on Boost.